In this video, we're going to talk about the tools on the left side of the workspace. And we're going to start with the import tool. Now we have three ways of importing a mesh. I can click right here on the splash screen under import. I can also select the import tool or I can go to file import. I'm going to select the Stanford bunny to show you some of the options that we have under import. And I'm going to select the import tool right here. Now, when we go to import, Mesh Mixer is going to ask us if we want to append, replace, or cancel. Append just means to add a mesh onto the scene. So it would be the Stanford bunny plus an additional mesh. Replace means to replace the bunny for a new mesh. Cancel means to abort the import operation. And then we have these two options right here on the left hand side. Flip Z to Y on import and export and remember my choice. Some 3D packages have the up and down axis as Z and some other ones like Autodesk Maya have the Y axis as the up and down axis. So I'm going to click on replace and I will select the file. But first, let's go over the file formats that Mesh Mixer allows you to import. We have seven file formats from STL. STL is the oldest format for 3D printing. OBJ is a wavefront format widely used in many industries. And it's also the file format that Mesh Mixer supports the most. AMF stands for Additive Manufacturing Format. PLY stands for Polygonal File Format and it's a file format produced by many 3D scanners. The OFF format is a very basic format that stores a list of triangles. It's a very simple version of an OBJ. 3MF is a new file format. This file format supports vertex colors and texture and material information. And then we have the MIX file format. So now that we have a better understanding of our file formats, I'm going to select a model again to replace the Stanford bunny. And I want you to observe the position of this vase right here. Notice that the vase is on a up and down direction. So it's following the Y axis. I'm going to click on open. And because I did not select the flip Z for Y on import and export, the vase came in correctly. Next, we are going to go to import and this time we're going to append. And there you have it. One object appended to the original object. Again, we can use the object browser to select either one. As soon as you select one of the objects, the other object gets darkened. And now we're going to learn how to move these objects around in our mesh mixer scene. 